Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Today we have an interesting uh, time calculation here. It says if I start work from 9.48 a.m. to 1.10 and it wants to know how many hours is that in decimal form. Now often calculating time is difficult for students because time increment is 60. It's not a 10 or 100 like what we used to do. So the way, best way to do is this, 1.10 p.m. Okay, you know, 13 hours, 13 hours and 10 minutes. How you do this one and you basically add 12. Okay, this is how I get 10 to 12 um, in the 24 hour. And I'm going to subtract 9 to 48. Okay, obviously we can subtract here. Now here's a lot of students make a mistake. They early, um, they make error in thinking that I'm just going to borrow this one into 2 and turn this one into 11. No, you can't do that because hour is 60 minutes increment. Okay, 60 minutes increment. So what you need to do is this. Once you turn into the 1310, you want to try to subtract 48 here. What you need to do is actually add 60. Okay, so it's 1270 here. This is what you need to do. 1270 minus 948. Now you have enough to cover. So we have uh, 2 and 2 here. Okay. Um, 2 and 2 here. And let me make sure. So this is a 3. Okay. Now it's a 3 hours. 3 hours and 22 minutes. So this is how long you worked. Okay. In order to convert this one into decimals, then what we can do is 3 hours plus 22 over 60. Okay. This one is into the hours as well. This is how we convert, convert back and forth. This is the minutes, this is the hours. So when we divide by 60, we'll convert it into the decimals. So let's uh, say 22 divided by 60, I have a 0 0.36, so it's 3 plus 0 0.37 or so. Okay, so the total hour you worked in decimal form is 3.37 hours. All right, now remember the most important thing here is the increment when you do borrow, it's not 100, it's not a 10, it's, it's not increment 10, it's increment 60. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.